Back to another episode of Prince of Persia and the Two Thrones. So we just managed to get the first sand gate, and now the game kind of really begins. Up to now, everything has kind of been a uh, tutorial. Hello. Up to now, everything has kind of been a tutorial. Um, just showing you all the different new things that you're going to have to do, you know, between the speed kills, between the transformation, between the, uh, the dagger plates and the bouncy boards. Loads of new stuff. Now, now it's different. I need to jump to that chain, but that chain looks like it's way too far up. Oh, okay, it's not too far away. Here I was thinking that that just wasn't going to work. <laughs> Stealth this guy, but then the guy behind me is, or behind him is definitely seeing me. I forgot that there was gore in this game. Like, I was completely unaware. I thought they removed gore completely for uh, this one. Yep, nope, just cut him in half. See, I was under the impression that Prince of Persia 3 removed the gore from Prince of Persia 2, because they toned down the dark elements. It's still got the exact same combat, just absent as much blood. Well, they've actually removed a lot of the blood, because now they bleed sand instead of blood. How many times can we say the word blood? I mean, I, I suppose I am from England. Is this guy going to turn around so that I can jump over and stab him in the... Well, create some new holes. Come on, then. One. Two. Going to stealth his mate as well. These are harder. The archers, you get even less time, but it's a single shot to take them out. Lovely. Open the first gate. We are we are quickly moving through. Um, I don't think this is a very long game. Like, none of them are that long. The second one is the longest, but I'm pretty sure that this is about as short as, if not shorter, than the first one. Oh, we're going to transform again. The prince is once again going Super Saiyan, or... I don't know. <laughs> Come up with a name for this. The Dark Prince is cool. Any transformation in anything, you just liken it to uh, Super Saiyan. But at least now we get to use the new mechanics again, where we can swing from stuff. It's like Spider-Man, but years in advance. Well, I suppose not really, the way Spider-Man games before this. Spider-Man 2 for the PS2 being one of the elite ones, and a lesser known one, Ultimate Spider-Man, where you could switch between Spider-Man and Venom as you play through the game. Come on, we're choking this guy. We, we choked him so hard his head fell off, I'm sure that was the reason why. Speaking of Spider-Man, slide down this chain and then see if we can stealth take this guy out with the tail. Just round the neck, lift him up, yoink, he even took his head off. That poor man. I suppose he's already a sand zombie, it's not like things could get much worse for him. Right, let's go. We are successfully stealthing all of these guys. That is abnormal, very abnormal. Well, this segment as the Dark Prince really did not last very long. There is a bit of, an, there's a, bit of a glitch with the Dark Prince in this version of the game as well. He's supposed to have, like, sand going throughout his body, and that fades away as his health does. But here, there's just absolutely nothing. I assume it's a... Like, if you look at the prince's left arm now, see how that's, like, glowing? His entire body's supposed to be like that. Now for one of the segments that made a lot of people not like this Prince Persia very much, the chariot segments. As a kid, these were brutally difficult. You know how I was saying about how when you're a kid, you restart games all the time just to play through the bits that you enjoy and can do? I remember, these section would be enough to, like, just have me restart the game, because these are pretty hard, but... I suppose they're not that hard as an adult, like, you, you get used to it. You just gotta not be stupid. <laughs> Come on. Just don't run into anything. It's it's knowing which way to go, like, if you were aiming to the right then you might have been in trouble. These horses would definitely not survive that. Not a chance. Alright, keep going. Are you gonna... I'm gonna say, why are you climbing up on me? I was gonna go up the hill, but I decided not to at the very last second. We're nearly done. I think, we, well, we've gotta be nearly done. We've been at this for a while now. Watch out, we'll just run them over with the horse. That was close. Yeah, this is the end of it, I'm pretty sure, as long as we can survive this. As long as we can get through this door, I think we're good. Bye-bye, friend. Look where you're driving, mate. See, all that happens. And then the prince does some shit that he can never do outside of cutscenes. Cutscene prince is so much cooler than in-game prince, I swear to God. Cool. You know, at this point, it's kind of been a while since we've hit a save point. I'm hoping we come across one soon. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Platforming time. I feel like it has been a while since we've done some platforming. We had like, uh, what's the word? Traps, and we had some fighting. Then the chariot segment. If the game's going to keep cycling between sections, would you? There we go. We have our save point. Some miracle water. Although it's also been a long time since we came across a health upgrade. I suspect there are probably ten health upgrades there usually are in these games. Um, but we've not. I think we've only come across one. I don't know where they all are. 
I think the most I've ever had was the ones in the first game. My story right. from here, you let's go, Prince. We have our next sand gate down there, so let's work our way down, because throughout the game I think we're going to keep getting rid of those. Like, we'll probably get rid of one every few minutes, or every ten minutes or so. I actually did a Google. Um, are you done talking? It's always worth Googling, or at least I think it's kind of interesting to Google. Uh, the speed run record for a game that you're playing. It gives you an idea of how long the game actually is. Like, typically, I will take the speed run time for a game, and if I'm a normal person, it'll take about double. So, like, if the speed run for a game is two and a half hours, it's probably going to take me about five. It's usually It's been a pretty good metric to go by so far. Like, for example, um, the speed run for Warrior Within was, like, two hours and 49 minutes, I think. And I think... Well, it took me about five hours overnight to really, really sweat it. And then I think the speed run for this one is two hours 11, which is crazy. Um, it's just a case of playing the game quickly, because it's not like the side content or anything that you can miss or skip. It's just a case of being good, unlike me, who got fucked up. It's fine, I'm going to have a retry. No, looks like we're not doing it. Okay, over the side you go. Bye-bye. Time for us to attack another sand gate. Can we get some of these guys stealthily? Stealth? No stealth. I am not I'm not the stealth guy. I am not him when it comes to stealth. Never have been, never will be. We need to take out the guy in red. He is the the big problem. We'll just spam the throat cut thing. Oh no, we won't, apparently. The throat cut is like one of our easiest attacks that we can keep bringing out. And just Come on, bro. He's blocking it. Although he's not really doing much damage to me. And is he dead already? He is. I think they have the ability to summon more, so you have to be careful. See that? One, two. Square, square, triangle, I think, is my favorite combo. It's the spin to win. Come on. I think you're the last one, buddy. I'll stab you in the dick. <laughs> Can we take that now? Come on. Let me have it. Drop your little barrier. Thank you. I'm pretty sure this gives us a new power as well. I think the power that we get this time is... Slow down? Sand credits! How absolutely fucking useless. Something that I really love about the game design of Prince of Persia and the Two Thrones is it's always incredibly clear where to go next. Like, at no point am I ever lost, or wondering what I'm trying to achieve. The goal is always clear, the, the path forward is always not necessarily obvious, because you still have to know what you're looking for. Like, here, we have different directions that we can go, but like, I know that this is probably a collectible, because, yeah, dead end, that's the way forward. I, there is a time and a place for open world games or like Metroidvania style games, but like, you, I, you can't be a good linear game. I like linear. I like all games, but like, I really like linear games. Linear is cool. Once again, we're transforming into the Super Dark Prince. This is like the third time in 15 minutes. It's definitely the second time in this video alone. Like, we are absolutely powerhousing it into becoming the uh, the evil version of the prince. Let's go do the Spider-Man thing. I remember this bit being a little bit hard, perhaps. Or, like, fuck up Because now, you jump up onto the... Yeah, you can climb up onto those. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Take his entire face off. Lovely. Sprint. Swing. And then I think this starts to fall as well. It does. Swing. These segments are usually pretty short because of the fact that your health is constantly being drained. You get better mobility, you are stronger, but your health is permanently diminishing. Like, literally, look at that. That is the pr Dark Prince segment over already. What was that? 40 seconds? Stealth time. Stealth time. Fuck's sake. I wanted to stealth you. I threw him off two cliffs. You're going with your mate. Bye-bye. Oh, we have a bit of a cutscene. Let's watch this. This could be important. She got three-pieced. He always looks so angry. What is this? Someone helping us. Who is there? You have done me a great service. Show yourself that I might Bro, your arm looks like it's about to fall off. So very strange. Very strange. I wonder. No. It is silly to think such things. I mean, what you're thinking ends up being true, but it's also incredibly unlikely and such a weird thing for you to think. I won't talk about what it is until we see it, but still. 
We are being the stealth king again. I am amazing at stealth. You all heard it here first. That other guy knows. He just put an arrow in my entire face. Bye. Oh yeah, you're definitely not okay. <laughs> I love throwing enemies off of things. There's nothing more satisfying than throwing an enemy off things. Why is throwing enemies off of buildings in games so fun? Like, I remember the first time that I did it in Spider-Man 2018, and it was like, oh my god, we just murdered that guy. But not really. Like, watch this. Bye-bye. Oh, that, that fence is a little bit too high to chuck him over. Sort of stab him in the dick as well. Hello? Well, mate, what did you have for dinner? I'm trying to be your friend. Give me a hug. What did you have for dinner? Let's have a look in there. Drag the knife down. Oh, we cut him in half with a little dagger. What a way to go. Make sure you guys are following. Ooh, I know what's coming. I know what's coming. Okay, let's save just in case I fuck this up, but I know what this is. So, so this boss up ahead has ended many Prince of Persia 3 playthroughs for me as a child, just because it, I used to think it was really hard. This was Look at him. Man. He's a big he guy. He's got no lower jaw. Look at that. It's kind of scary. I remember being like a small child playing this game. I was playing a lot of games that I probably shouldn't have been playing younger than I should have played them. But besides just being a little bit scary, I think this guy is actually kind of a difficult fight. Or he used to be. Probably isn't now, because, like, I'm so used to Souls games, but... Right, what do we do against... Oh, oh, he's picked us up. I'm not getting picked up by you. We can rewind that. Stop it. Apparently I am being picked up, and there's not a lot I can do to stop him. You think he wants a kiss? I don't think he's getting a kiss. Okay, we can dodge that. Right, get between his legs. We need to cut up his ankles. I can't dodge this! What does it want me to do? I swear to god I'm supposed to get to his ankles. Or maybe... Right, hang on. Maybe I'm supposed to do this already. Yeah, there we go. I know what we've got to do. It's fine. Shit! I didn't mean to jump off of that. I'm out of sand, so no more fuck-ups allowed. Wall run, wall run. Right, let's go, let's go. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Right, we blinded one of his eyes. Basically, the move is you get high up, blind him, and then when he's blind, well, you can just then you can smash his ankles apart. I think as a kid that was just a difficult thing to figure out. I don't know. Right, come on. Man's just punching walls. Right, here we go. Come on. One. I'm coming for your eye, fella. Two. Things usually come in threes. That's both his eyes. Now, we can cut his little ankles up. Or his big little ankles up, because them are some big ankles. Mate, where? We won't. Where? Where? <laughs> he doesn't know where I am anymore. Now we can bully him. Just got to not get hit. Now it's a Dark Souls boss. Just stay on his ankles. And bring him down. See, this is actually not that hard. It just felt harder as a child. The bosses are definitely way improved in this one. And we once again turn into the Dark Prince. Of course we do. That's like, what, three times in the last 15 minutes or so? Maybe at the end of this section we'll, uh, we'll end this video, but we'll see how long it takes. Oh, we're being offered the opportunity to save because that boss is probably considered hard. I don't know, but whatever. Come on, Princey boy. We got shit to do. Let's go. I could do with more health, perhaps. The The key to these sections is timing. Just don't fuck things up. The guy's still giving me hints to beat the boss, but we're, like, way beyond the boss now. Oh, well, not way behind. Like, we just finished him. Roll faster, Prince. Could swear that these are supposed to come together. Like that. Fuck. And I've got no sand, I'm just dead. Well. There's my first death, this path. Woo. It did not end that way. First death ended. Don't know why that happened. Right, let's try again. I could do with some sand. Because that was bad. It's a good thing I saved, isn't it? Because if this was Prince of Persia 2, I'd have been just mugged off. What am I supposed to do here? Just Oh, I see. Just jump. Fair enough. Makes sense. Hello? Christ! 
Okay, then we officially managed to get over. That's fine. Jump and climb? No. Nope. Come on, print. Oh, have I got a. We'll let her talk. Nice. Sand. Come on. No, I need to pull it all the way. Perhaps now the prince would remember he once fought for something other than his lost honor. Sand. Oh, Christ. Cocked it up. Didn't realize I was on a timer there. I just thought it was to get me across. Apparently I'm wrong. Right. Try again. Roll, prince, roll, prince, roll. Roll, roll, roll. This is going on for way longer than the other sections. Like, each of the other sections as the Dark Prince lasts for, like, what? A minute of running? Nearly done. This version of the prince reminds me of Venom. Just like an evil version of the uh, the normal. As a kid, it was the coolest fucking thing ever. I, used, I, I remember as a kid, I used to actually draw the dagger tail, the little chain whip thing that he uses. And there we go, we are officially out of Dark Prince mode again. Lovely. Right, and on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in a bit.